It's chilly outside today, but we are about to get the coldest air of the season. Kate is here, and you were saying to steal a line from one of your favorite shows, Winter is coming. <laughs> Indeed it is. I, oh, I like the voice, too. Thank, thank Winter you. is coming. You need the, the Scottish coming. accent. Coming. Winter is coming. Yes. Com, 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 uh, winter is coming. Coming. The dead are coming. Okay. <laughs> Practice that and we'll get back with you. Let's talk about, of course, that's Sir Davos for those of you who are also fans of Game of Thrones. Here's a live look at Philadelphia and what a beautiful night it is. You can see the moon out there. It is gorgeous as we head past sundown, but still some light in the sky as we head through twilight. Just a lovely, lovely looking evening. Not the kind of night you want to be out for too long because it is turning bitterly cold, definitely feeling more like winter outside tonight than it has really all season long. 44 degrees right now feels like 37. Dew point is 28, so we could, in theory, drop all the way down to 28 degrees. I don't think we'll get quite that far, but some spots will be in the 20s to start tomorrow morning. And look at these winds, 24 miles per hour. That's why it feels like 37 out there. And those winds moving over the comparatively warmer waters of the Great Lakes, causing lake effect snow, showers, and squalls to fire up all across western Pennsylvania. The lake effect snow bands here off Lake Ontario down into central New York State. They are falling apart as they reach the major cities in the I 95 corridor, but you can see some scattered rain showers. Chester and Delaware counties down into portions of Atlantic, Camden, Gloucester County, and into Cumberland County as well. And a few snow showers firing up in the Pocono. Not much is falling, but certainly some flakes to be found if you're in the highest elevations here tonight. 30 degrees will be the overnight low once the sun completely sets. It already has set, but once we lose the heating of the day, twilight starts to turn to that pitch black night. It will be mainly clear, cold and blustery. Your region-wide forecast tomorrow, look at these temperatures. Coldest day of the season here in Philadelphia, just 42, 45 down the shore, cold and windy, and feeling like the teens all day in the Poconos. Not the best day to be out and about. Here are your feels-like temperatures, by the way. When you wake up tomorrow morning, feels like the low 20s. This is 4.30 a.m. Feels like 7 in Mount Pocono, feeling like 21 in Lancaster. And then even by 9.45, it still feels no better than the mid-20s. At the height of the afternoon, late in the day, the winds will start to slacken just a little bit, but still feeling not much better than freezing all day long. Here's the latest on IOTA. It is now a tropical storm moving through portions of Central America, Nicaragua, up toward Honduras, and it is weakening. However, this storm came on shore almost in the exact same spot where Ada came on shore, made landfall. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, less than 30 miles from Ada's landfall, it made landfall last night as a strong Category 4 near Cat 5, strongest storm of this record season so far. Let's hope it's the last one. Go out with a bang, but let's hope we just go out. We don't need any more tropical systems to talk about. We'll keep you posted if anything fires up. Your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast, 42 tomorrow, cold and blustery, but a quick rebound. We're back to near 60 by Friday, and as of now, the weekend looks great. Highs in the 60s and some sun both days. Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you.